Oh, you're right. See? <laughs> I think we discovered an amazing game. There's more? <laughs> Whoa. Should we come back? We started in the end of 2011, and um, the project came out of a desire to um, kind of create a space where we could shift people's expectations of how they were experiencing art, um, and also for artists who are making work to kind of have a chance to make site-specific work within a certain you know, set of limitations, that being the stair architecture. Um, and so, we, I guess we just were interested to see like if we could have a more engaged experience like viewing work and also you know being the kind of organizers and like making new work possible um, by just putting it in a kind of more novel location. So that's how we arrived at stairs. Um, this is all about facilitating these kind of elevation changes in elevation. Yeah, yeah. So we're interested in like ramps, ladders, escalators, elevators, all these kind of strange moments in architecture where you have to, you're moving through a space and you don't usually stop there. The first space we used was kind of a space that we had, you know, some degree of access to because we just wanted to kind of try out our idea. But since then we've worked in a range of spaces. Sometimes they're, you know, in people's homes, sometimes they're, um, spaces that, you know, aren't really the best for putting artwork in <laughs> or are really far away or hard to get to or, you know, they're usually kind of hard to get to. Someone we didn't know, you know, happened to ask, well, why don't you just, you know, pick a stairwell and just do shows there every month and invite different artists to come in and make shows in that particular stairwell, you know, and to us, like, the, even the suggestion of doing that was just kind of, like, completely beyond, like, the purpose of the project. We're really interested in what, what are the unique challenges of this space, how, how are the artists going to respond to it in different ways. Yeah, and we've worked with artists, too, that, you know, both who have done a lot of site-specific work um, and then artists who never have. Besides the exhibitions, we do field trips. We do a couple a year. Um, each one has also been in a different location. Um, we've done some in San Francisco. We've done some in Berkeley and in Oakland now. Sometimes it's more of like a history walk. Sometimes it's more of like um, doing like activities in a park. And you know, there's a lot of kind of like spontaneous components. You know, we try to kind of have this element of surprise for people that come on the field trips. Yeah. So the whole idea of the gallery was like a place where you weren't standing still. You weren't like spending time with the art. It was becoming almost a stair or a pass-through place was like this weird phrase we came up with initially. And so the idea was to like flip turn it, yeah. the pass-through place into a stationary place. I mean, I think for us, it's really important to kind of change people's understandings of places that are, you know, pretty familiar to them already. Provide a different experience of kind of the everyday. Um, and, I, and also, you know, the fact that we can move to where we need to be and kind of go to where things are interesting to us, you know, or to some of the people that we're working with is a really nice kind of freeing thing that still allows us to do a lot of programming, even though we don't have a lot of resources and we don't have a physical space. And, you know, it's something that is a project that we do on top of a lot of other things that we're both involved in. Our narrative is about, you don't have to, it's not necessarily that we're making huge sacrifices in order to run this project. It's like built into how it functions that it is sustainable in the current economic climate. So it's not one of like, oh, we don't have a space, we really wanted a space. Mm -hmm, Stairwells mm -hmm. is all about being fluid and adaptable and kind of itinerant. Bay Area Now.